My name is Fana, welcome to the Self Compassion channel, and today I'm going to talk about two tiny little words that can instantly improve your communication and not suppress your emotions, and I'm going to explain you why. magic words do not suppress your emotions there are two little tiny words that are so strong and so undervalued in my opinion and it's so simple and I'm going to jump right in instead of using the word but we can use the words and yet so why would we do that? Why would we use the words and yet instead of but? Well, there are several reasons. And first of all, it doesn't undermine what came before the and yet. I'm sure you have this experience, you have the situation when somebody is talking to you or explaining something to you and you feel like there's a but coming. You're like, uh oh, there's a but coming my way. And everything that was said before the but goes out the window. We, we don't even remember anymore. We don't listen anymore. We only hear what came after the but. But you don't dismiss what was being said before the and yet. And this will make a person really seen and really heard. For example, I use this on my son. I say something along the line like, I know you're tired, I know you have a lot of homework, and yet I want you to clean your room. So I acknowledge that he is tired and he has a lot of homework. I don't dismiss that. And yet I express really clearly what I want from him. Second reason is that we can use this on ourselves. So we don't suppress the emotions that are there. I mean, they're there. Not agreeing with your emotions, and I see this so many times, but not agreeing with your emotions is like not agreeing with the fact that you're hungry. You know, we don't condemn our hunger. We don't have an opinion about that. It's either there or it's not there with a function. Well, that's the same with our emotions. So instead of dismissing our emotions, we can say something like, okay, for example, I have a presentation. I find it really, I'm really afraid of, I find it really scary. I'm, I'm nervous. Instead of saying, okay, Fana, this is really silly. You, you have done this so many times. Come on, you know, don't be scared. There's no reason. I, I kind of not agree with the fact that I am in fact nervous and scared. So I can use the word and yet, okay, I feel really nervous. And yet, I'm going to do the presentation. And you can use it in so many ways. Even though I have my flaws, and yet, I'm good enough. You can even use it in breaks, breakups. I find you really amazing, and yet, I don't want to be with you. You can use it in so many ways. It's clear. I am super sad and yet I'm going out of bed. I am inviting you to use these words and maybe you already use these words um, in your communication. It's also really great with setting boundaries. You know, I know you are busy and yet, and you can express what you need from somebody. You acknowledge that there must be a reason for the other person. You acknowledge all the feelings, you acknowledge everything. And yet, you're very clear. I am inviting you to leave a comment if you have anything to say about this channel or you have any request that you want to leave in the comments. Uh, I'll be very thankful. And for now, I want to thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in another video. Bye. Thank you.